Good evening. Uh, we're just about to start the class. Uh, today is we're going to go to video conference number 16. And we're going to go over to unit number four, hotel services and amenities. Um, uh, right now, I'm just waiting. Uh, right now, it is um, 7.57. Is three minutes to start the class. I, I already sent a message to them, to the students, uh, remind them that we need to um, write the full name when they get into the class and also uh, remind them that the classes start at eight. Uh, we'll just be in mute for a while, for three minutes, while the people is getting into the class. There is just one minute to start the class. Okay, right now it's 8 p.m. And uh, um, as I mentioned before, this is video conference number 16. We're going to go over to unit number four this week. And uh, today we're going to cover hotel services and amenities. And uh, I'm well waiting for just one student get into the class. So I just be going to start at the class.
Okay, right now, so um, there is, it is eight and two minutes. So I just waiting for people getting to the class today. Good evening, Jenny. How are you today? Fire, but fine. Good. Okay, how was your good? Just waiting for you. Just getting into the class. And how was your weekend? Uh, that's fine. Good. Uh, prepare for the start the work today oh really you started today yes okay yes. and how was today's job today's work hard tired, hard. tired. Yeah. <laughs> i see but, but ready for the learn english okay very good that's the the attitude good evening floor thank you for joining us Okay, as you see, uh, we're going Hola. to, buenas noches. As you see, um, we're going to, today's is uh, video conference number 16. This is the hotel services and amenities. Okay, so we're about to finish um, this week. Remember on Friday, we're going to finish the class. Thank you, Erica, for joining us. Good evening. Good evening. And uh, we're going to finish on Friday. And uh, um, I just want to just um, uh, push you uh, para que quiero hacer hincapié en esas tareas. Porque si no terminamos las tareas, no empezamos el otro módulo. Entonces yo tengo que presentar notas a más tardar el fin de semana. El sábado a medianoche más tardar. Entonces, eh, hay quienes no han completado algunas tareas. Hay quienes sí ya completaron hasta la tarea 4. Y congratulations for those people. Pero tenemos que avanzar en las tareas. Si ustedes tienen preguntas con respecto a alguna a actividad, eh, con todo gusto, eh, les puedo ayudar, les puedo orientar de cómo poder eh, completar la tarea. Eh, solo acuérdense que tienen que estudiar los how to, que son dos en el, lo que estuvimos viendo el viernes, son dos how to en cada unidad. Son dos estructuras gramaticales y tienen que estudiar también el vocabulario. Eso es importante para poder realizar las tareas, la unidad 1 y 2 para hacer la, el midterm, la evaluación, eh, eh, viene prácticamente eh, viene de la unidad 1 y 2 y el examen final viene de la unidad 3 y 4 si no mal recuerdo entonces por favor hacer eh, las tareas yo sé que algunos están ahí no han completado las unidades pero si sí han estado avanzando pero por favor necesito eh, que completen las actividades para poder eh, Que ustedes también tengan una mejor, eh, un mejor aprendizaje y no les cueste mucho para el otro módulo. Ok, so we are going to start. And the class objective for today is at the end of the class, students will be able to request information about travel services and accommodations related to business trip. Okay, today we're going to go over to some uh, um, how to book a hotel. Uh, some of you have business travel, so have traveled to another department and uh, um, or another country just for business trip, right? Or just for fun. Okay, we're going to learn how to book a hotel. And the agenda for today is, as always, we are going to review the topics and the vocabulary we covered in the last session. Uh, we're going to go over to discussion and practice, how to book a hotel, hotel amenities, role play, and wrap up, which is that review about that today's class. We 
go over to the first activity, we're going to review the topics and vocabulary covered in the last session. So in this case, we're going to discuss together, okay? Because um, there's not enough people in order just to get to the discussion. Okay, so what do you remember about the last class? ¿Qué se acuerdan de la última clase o de las últimas clases? Communication and etiquette. Okay, communication and etiquette, very good. Uh, how to send an email, obviously, how, is, how to write a proper email, right? Es lo que tiene que llevar, no solo ponerle buenos días en el subject, y buenos días, eh, grupo de ventas, se les, mañana tenemos una reunión, y hasta ahí. So, we need to just do no solo eso, sino que tiene que llevar un saludo, like a dear y el nombre, o dear el nombre y apellido, o solo el apellido, o good day, so just start a greeting, and then uh, you have to describe what is the email about. En al final le van a poner una, um, un salutation, okay, best regards, regards, sincerely, and the name. If you have any firm, so you can use, use your own um, um, signature, right? What else do you remember? ¿Qué más se acuerda? Flor, ¿de qué más se acuerda? del vocabulario que tenemos que utilizar en los correos electrónicos. Ok, very good. Uh, por ejemplo. Um, no utilizar, por ejemplo, eh, mayúsculas. Okay. Hablábamos también de, eh, de lo, del, del, como el saludo de despedida, dijéramos. O podríamos ser como más, más cordiales en la introducción de los correos. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Um, Erika, ¿de qué se acuerda de las clases pasadas? What do you remember about the last class? Last um, classes. Que vimos el cool, el may, el can, eh, el try. Okay, very good. Okay, okay, remember cool is just to be polite in order just to um, make a request, right? Okay, cuando pedimos algo. No solo le digo, Erika, eh, cierra la puerta. O Erika, presenta el reporte. So we need to use cool. Could you please, or could you uh, present the report tomorrow, please? So, y si utilizamos please, todavía es más formal es más cortés. Entonces, cuando utilizamos cool, we make request. Okay, also for can, we make request as well. Okay. Hey, perdón, ¿cuándo sí, es más formal? Cuando utilizamos please, please. el cool, o puedo, puedo decir, uh, Jenny, could, could you please? Ahí ya va bien formal. Si utilizo cool, o sea, ya es formal. Pero el, todavía el please le da más formalismo a la oración. Good evening, Julia. Thank you for joining us. Eh, pues claro, estamos ahí, Jenny. Ok. Very good. Yes, okay. ok, welcome. ¿De qué más nos acordamos? ¿Qué más vimos eh, durante la clase pasada o las clases anteriores? What do you remember about that? El D, el D. Okay, very good. Okay, so we covered the last, um, in the simple past, excuse me, in uh, affirmative sentence in, in negative sentences. Okay, remember when we use affirmative sentences, we need to uh, make the verb in the past, right? 
need to make it into the past. We need to be careful que si es un verbo eh, regular o irregular. Que si es regular, solo se le agrega ed o se le cambia la y por la i latina y se le agrega ed. Pero que en eso hay que tener cuidado porque la y tiene que tener un sonido vocal. Por ejemplo, study tiene eh, el sonido vocal, la, la y. Entonces, ahí es donde se le cambia eh, la I latina, la, eh, se le pone la I latina y se le pone la E de al final. Pero si yo digo yellow, que esa Y eh, es, suena como consonante, right? Y, yellow. En el yellow. caso de play, teacher. Ah, play. Play también eh, suena como... Eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Como consonante, por eso no se le agrega eh, de al final. Ok. Eh, también en oraciones negativas, acuérdense, tenemos que utilizar didn't o did not. And the verb needs to be in the base form. Por ejemplo, I didn't play. Play va en su forma normal, no se le agrega ed. ¿Por qué? Porque ya tengo el didn't. I didn't play tennis yesterday, but I played soccer. Si ustedes se fijan, no jugué tenis, el play va a ir en su forma normal, pero en la segunda oración, I played, ahí sí se, se puede el verbo en pasado. Igual con los, good evening, uh, Carla, thank you for joining us. Eh, igual en los verbos irregulares, por ejemplo, I ate a hamburger last, last weekend. I didn't eat pizza yesterday. Si ustedes se fijan, el eat no cambia a ate, sino que se queda como eat porque es una eh, oración negativa. So the same happened in question. Did you eat pizza last week? No puedo decir, did you eat? No, did you eat pizza last week? Yes, I did. No, I did. Okay, so you need to play with those things. What else do you remember? ¿De qué más nos acordamos? Teacher. Yes. Repita, por favor, eso último que mencionó. Eh, las preguntas y las oraciones negativas. Okay. De, de, de. ok, aquí voy a compartir la pizarra y lo vamos a hacer acá. Ok, this is simple pass. And uh, we're going to write this one. Ok, an affirmative sentence. Uh, if you see the, the we changed the verb. I played soccer last week. I ate a pizza last night. Okay, these these are affirmative sentences. Pero si estas las ponemos en negative, we can say, I didn't play soccer last week. And I didn't. Eat pizza last night. Entonces, si se fija, aquí no pongo eight. Aquí en esto de acá no pongo eight. Pongo eat. ¿Por qué? Porque ya pongo el tiren. El tiren ya me está dando la. Ya me está transformando la oración en pasado. Ok. Lo mismo pasa en pregunta. En pregunta, el verbo no va a cambiar. Why? Porque tenemos Do you play soccer last week? Here we 
can answer, yes, I did, or no, I don't. No, I didn't, excuse me. The same happened with the second question. Did, uh, uh, let's say, Lisette, did Lisette uh, eat pizza last night? Oops. can answer yes she did or no no she didn't, no, she didn't. Si ustedes se fijan en las preguntas el verbo we don't we don't change the verb se fijan el verbo no va a cambiar you see siempre me sale la flechita let me just check this okay, if you see the verb doesn't change pero aquí sí en la afirmativa if you see ate and play pero en esta de acá si ustedes se fijan play it, play it. ¿Por qué? Porque en la pregunta tengo el did auxiliary y en la negación tengo el didn't. Por eso el verbo no va a cambiar. Solo se va a cambiar en, se va a utilizar el verbo en pasado en, la, en las oraciones afirmativas nada más. Ok, ¿estamos claros? Yes, very good. Okay, so what else do you remember? Hablamos de shul. Do you remember shul? How to use shul? ¿Por qué utilizamos shul? Do you remember that? Más o menos se acuerdan de eso? Se utiliza el shul. Eh, yo lo entiendo como cuando lo damos un consejo que se debería hacer algo. That's right. Very good. Ok, es algo que nosotros aconsejamos. We make a suggestion, right? Pero eso no significa que la persona lo va a hacer. Nosotros le decimos, eh, por ejemplo, está enferma, tiene fiebre. You should go to the doctor. Que okay, sería bueno que fueras al doctor. Pero si la persona no quiere ir a pasar consulta, es just es up to her o up to him, es ya cuestión de ellos. Entonces, el shul es como dar una, una sugerencia de que se debería de hacer. Uh, the other, the other uh, way around is the shooting. Ok, um, you shouldn't, uh, for example, Um, you shouldn't uh, write capital letters in an um, in a email, for example. No debería utilizar letras mayúsculas en un email. All capital letters, right? So, pero ella es opción de ella si lo usa o no. Eh, no es cuestión de que es una obligación. So that's why we make suggestions about that. Okay, what about vocabulary? ¿De qué vocabulario se acuerdan? Yes. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Very good. Siéntase eh, libre o de, por ejemplo, de hacer preguntas. Be free to ask questions. So, and 
what, what other vocabulary? ¿De qué otro vocabulario se acuerda? En la página, on page 37, you have the vocabulary there. We just went uh, and make a puzzle regarding that on page 27, 37, excuse me. We made an activity just to find uh, the words and the communication etiquette, right? So what is the vocabulary there? ¿Qué, qué vocabulary tienen en esa página? Behavior. Behavior, uh huh. Etiquette. Etiquette. Control. Control, uh huh. What else? You must have name was that. Excuse me. Regards. 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 Very good. What else? Also, we go to manners. Polite. Polite. Very good. Uh, the subject, very good. Uh, also, we cover uh, salutation. Okay. Now, uh, vocab ¿qué se acuerdan del vocabulario del email? Hay una actividad que presenté y ahí estaban las partes del email. What do you remember about that? ¿Qué se acuerdan de esa actividad? ¿Y el vocabulario? Sí, vocabulary. Forward. Forward, very good. ¿Qué más? Okay, we have from, to, from is the person who writes the email, right? To is the recipient. We have the subject, which is the topic that you're going to uh, discuss in the email. Uh, also, we have attachment. Remember, it's sort of documents that you can include in an email. We have delete. We have a reply. Reply all. Okay. And also, we cover CC. What CC stands for? ¿Qué quiere decir CC? Do you remember about that? That is a yes. Plus. Carbon copy. Carbon copy. Very good. And a BCC is a blind carbon copy. Very good. Okay. Also, we have uh, the salutation. What, what is the introduction or what the greeting? Also, we have signature. So that your name, the first and last name, and the, um, the position that you, that you do what you are in the company, right? And also the company name. Very good. Do you have any question? Hay alguna pregunta? Questions regarding that? We're starting unit number eight, number four, excuse me. Okay, very good. So let's move on out to the next activity that we have. And um, I just want to uh, remind you about this, this, and I will just show you, right? So basically, that is the 15, uh, the ones who didn't, um, who weren't up on Friday, present on Friday. I just want to, we make a review about 15 basic rules or business etiquette rules right so um, we're going to go to the summary so you need to introduce people when they don't know each other or in case they don't know you need to already know that so you need to be careful with that okay also we handshakes when we go over to the greetings so you need to uh, give a fair hampshire or just open a future uh, professional relationships. Uh, always uh, we need just to say please and thank you. So even though they are in uh, 
business um, situation. So it is, it is important just to say please and thank you. So don't forget the courtesy and that is imperative in a business. Okay, so also we covered that we don't interrupt the other speaker because it, um, it seems that you are rude or disrespectful so to the other uh, people. So you need to be positive, not aggressive. Okay, so you need to watch your language even though uh, some uh, behavior, some words are acceptable in a common place or in a friendly situation. But in business, you need to be careful. You just uh, use the proper words. Okay, so when you send emails, so you need to check the spelling. You need to check the tone that the email or your writing has in order just to avoid uh, misunderstanding or miscommunicate an idea. And number seven, so you need to um, make, announce, or arrange uh, a meeting with the person you're going to talk with. So uh, you can send an email or your call in order just to arrange that. Number eight, so we covered that don't gossip. So people has the right to be uh, their own life, right? Even though it's in, if it is in business uh, things. Okay, don't even drop. So the people has the, has the right to be private. So the conversation are private of in person over the phone or by email. So don't eavesdrop. That means that no andemos orejeando o metiéndonos donde no nos llaman, right? Number 10, so if you are busy, you, you need to acknowledge the other people. So you need to let them know that you will attend them in a couple of minutes. And uh, we need to avoid um, big, um, topics, for example, like politics and religion. Tenemos que evitar esos tipos de, de temas que son eh, bien complejos, que cada uno tenemos nuestro propio punto de vista, más que todo de política y religión. So we need to avoid discuss those kinds of topics. Um, you have to be on time and uh, be punctual. So that means that uh, if you are punctual, so that means that you um, respect the other people's time. Um, don't offend during the meeting. So it's disrespectful. So you need to avoid that. Um, don't be business car pusher. That means that don't offer the car. No ofrezca la su, that, su carta de presentación o su tarjeta de presentación eh, antes de pedir la de los otros, right? Hay que mostrar igual interés genuino en la plática de, del hablante, mirarlo a los ojos, no eh, distraernos, hay que evitar de la distracción porque eso eh, se ve mal y igual si andamos prisa igual hay que ser paciente un poco hasta que la otra persona eh, deje de hablar. Básicamente eso fue lo que vimos el día viernes. Okay, we just covered that. Okay, just I want to make a little summary about that. So I don't know if you have any question, alguna pregunta before moving on. Okay. There's no question, uh, we continue with the next topic that we have. Let me share this. Okay, so we're going to go to discussion and practice. So you're going to discuss the let's start questions on page 39. Uh, we're going to go uh, in pairs. And then you're going to share your opinions with the class. After that, we're going to move on activity number two, and we're going to practice the conversation. And at the end, you need to present that to the class. Okay, so I will share the book. 
And I need that you go over uh, to this part. Number one, we're going to discuss that in pairs. So the first question is, do you usually go on business trip? What are three hotel services? We have some examples, wake up call, business center laundry, you often use. Okay, los que han ido a hoteles, eh, no necesariamente en cuestión de negocios. Alguna vez hemos, nos hemos quedado en un hotel o cuando hemos viajado a otro país, aunque no es un hotel cinco estrellas, pero nos quedamos en, en un hotel, o sea, un hospedaje. Eh, ¿Qué servicios hemos pedido? ¿Qué servicios los que usamos frecuentemente cuando nos quedamos en un hotel? Ok, so I'm going to make the pairs. Eh, vamos a trabajar Jenny, Flor y Carla y Erika. So we're going to go over to that. Okay, good evening, Carlos and Tatiana. Thank you for joining us. Okay, uh, good evening. Uh, como acaban de entrar, eh, les voy a hacer un pequeño resumen de la actividad que vamos a hacer ahorita. Estamos en la página 39 del libro. Vamos a discutir eh, las preguntas de la actividad número uno. Lo vamos a hacer en pareja. Okay, so let's make this. Y vamos a trabajar de la siguiente manera. Vamos a trabajar Carlos y eh, Tatiana. Va a trabajar Erika con Carla. Uh, Flor, Jenny and Julia. We are going to work together. Solo las preguntas de la actividad número uno. La conversación la vamos a hacer más tarde. Solo discutan, les voy a dar cinco minutos. I will give you five minutes to discuss those questions. So, right now, there is 8.35. At 8.40, we're going to finish this activity and going back to the main room. Okay, let's start discussing. Okay, Carlos todavía no, le voy a mandar mensaje a Carlos para que entre, ya regreso. Okay. Hola Carlos, ¿qué tal? Bien, bien. Vamos a discutir solo la primera parte, dijo. ¿no? Sí, el número uno. Me vas a contestar las tres preguntas. Ok. Eh... En su caso, Carlos, suele viajar por negocios. Por negocios, es ¿eh? verdad. ¿Tú usas el business Chris? No much, no much. Okay. En, en you? Caso, eh, antes de la pandemia, este, como por mi puesto, como soy analista de reclutamiento, entonces ah. vamos a ferias de empleo, ese, a cualquier departamento. Eh, nos ha tocado viajar, bueno, a todos los departamentos nos ha tocado viajar. Entonces... Eh, relacionado con el trabajo, sí. Usually, pero ah, no sé cómo enfocarlo. Para decir, uh, no sé si es, es necesario decir antes de... de antes, de, de, antes de COVID. Ajá, 
thing. No, it's not necessary. It's then not it's necessary time. to say. So you can say, I usually uh, travel by, uh, I usually go on business trips, you can say. Ah, okay. Pero nunca se ha quedado en un hotel. O, por ejemplo, o si eh, es viaje del día. Si es, no. Si es de trabajo, si es viaje de día. Pero de paseo, si ya he ido y me he quedado en hotel. Ok, entonces enfoquémonos en ese aspecto, ya que no se ha quedado en hotel por eh, cuestiones de negocio, de, 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 del trabajo. Entonces enfoquémoslo en, en lo que usted se ha quedado, de vacaciones, por ejemplo. Entonces wow. eh, enfoquémonos en eso. ¿Cuál de los tres servicios o cuáles tres servicios son los que usted generalmente eh, pide cuando visita un hotel? Entonces, enfoquémonos en eso. Igual, Carlos, si no viaja con respecto a yo, su trabajo, pero algún momento yo, 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 eh, pudo haber quedado en un hotel. Eh, 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 eso es eh, Sí, porque yo nunca me he estado más de dos días en un hotel. Ajá, es que es que lo sí, normal, vea, o sea, la comida, uh -huh. bueno, los desayunos. Uh -huh. Incluyen por lo general y ajá. Sí, sí, lo más, como digo, lo más que hemos tenido es miedo de despierre. ¿El qué dice? Wake up El despertador. Call. Ah. The wake up call. Wake up call. Ajá, uh -huh. yeah. The wake up call. Sí. Ok, very oh. good. <laughs> ok. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, have you finished, right? Yes. I will give you just one minute and then we go back to the main room. Okay. Okay. All right, Business trip. In ese caso, nunca viajo, verdad? Sí. Y en la en la segunda sería. En las. What are. Mm -hmm. What are what three. Are three Hotel service. Mm -hmm. You often use. Le falta. Ah, sí, sí. You often use. Mm -hmm. Entonces mm -hmm. ahí. I often use. Wake up call. Podría ser. Food service. Hola, teacher. Ya Hello. Lo... <laughs> ya lo encontramos aquí. Okay. Do you have any question? Uh, no, teacher. Okay. No. Very good. So we're going to stop right now because there are just two questions and then we're going to discuss all together. Okay. 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 Okay, so people is getting to the main room right now. Just um, some seconds just to get into the main room. So 17 seconds, 16. Okay, very good guys. So we're going to discuss these questions quickly. So the first question is, do you usually go on business trips? Volunteers to answer this question. So we're discussing the first question. Do you usually go on business trips? Tatiana, can you help us? Okay. Um, Yes, 
Sometimes I travel for vacation in a hotel of beach. Okay, so you go to the hotel at the beach, right? So very good. Um, but I don't use the hotel service. Uh, none of service, so you you don't ask for hotel services. Okay, that's no, fine. Very good. Expensive, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you very much, Tatiana. Carla, what about you? Um, well, uh, sometimes when I I use just one time. Okay. The, the wake up call. A wake up call. Okay, yeah. service. Okay. That. Only that. Very good. Okay, Erika, what about you? Um, only for holidays. Okay, so for uh -huh. vacation. Yes. Only that. Only that. And have you ever asked for a hotel service? Uh, the breakfast or in all in room service. Only room service. Only that. Okay. Very good. Flor, what about you? I sometimes for vacation. Okay. And, and use a service laundry and food service. And the food service. Okay. Very good. Okay. Carlos, what about you? Yes, sometimes. Sometimes, and have you ever asked for a hotel service? Uh, I don't use the hotel service. Use hotel service either. Okay, very good. Julia, what about you? Um, sometimes a uh, vacation with my family, and I often use full service too, and wake up call wake up call. Okay. And Jenny? One time, teacher, uh, on the business trip, and I often use the wake up call. Okay, the wake up call. Okay, very good. Okay, um, in the hotel, there are different uh, hotel services, right? So, for example, the laundry, uh, the business center, the business center is when you get copies and also where you can fax or you send emails if in case you don't have your laptop or your own computer with you. So you can ask for the business center. Also, you can ask for um, any paper that you need so you can buy them. Okay, very good. So right now we go move, we move on to the activity number two. We're going to go over to the conversation. This is related to uh, accommodation, right? So uh, book a hotel or reserve, a reservation, basically. Okay, this is a uh, uh, conversation between the agent who is the, in this case, the person who works for the hotel and uh, uh, or in this case the business travel agency and uh, Rosa who is going to uh, ask for the service. I will read the conversation and then we're going to practice together. It says, Mark's travel agency, how can I help you? Good morning, I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure, may I have your name please? Of course, I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Ms. Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need uh, the shuttle service? Yes, please. Okay, so do you have any questions about this conversation or questions about vocabulary? Yeah, shuttle service. 
the shuttle service is when the hotel provides you transportation from the, let's say, from the airport to the hotel. And uh, when you um, made the out, so you can, uh, they can give you service, a transportation service from the hotel to the airport. And there are some agencies, uh, travel agencies that, for example, they can uh, give you transportation to any um, museum. For example, when you go to the, the, hotels, the hotel sometimes provides like uh, when you go sightseeing, right? Cuando va de visita a algún lugar turístico. El, el hotel le puede dar el transporte de, del hotel a ese lugar turístico y hay un horario, right? So you can take the bus or the transportation, basically that's the shuttle service. Ese es básicamente el, dar transporte de un lugar a otro del hotel. Okay, any other question? No? Okay, very good. Let's practice this and please open your microphone. I need to hear you that you repeat and uh, I need to just hear you as well the pronunciation. Okay, repeat after me, please. Mark's Travel Agency, how can I help you? Mark's Travel Agency, how can I help you? Good morning, I need a reservation for a single room. Good morning, I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I have your name, please? Sure. sure. May I have, have your, name, your name, please? please? Of course. I'm Rosa Fuentes. Of course. Of course. I'm, I'm Rosa, Rosa Fuentes. Fuentes. Thank you, Miss Fuentes. Thank you, Miss Fuentes. Thank you, Miss Fuentes. How long are you going to stay? How long, How long are you going, going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. I'm, I'm going, going to stay, stay three, three days. days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Are you I going am to going stay, to stay in, a in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need a shuttle service? Are you going to need, you going to need a shuttle service? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay, I'm an agent and you Rosa. March Travel Agency, how can I help you? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I, I need, need a for a single room. I'm going, going to travel to Costa Rica, Costa Rica on, April, on April 14th. 14. Sure, may I have your name, please? Oh, of course, of course. I am Rosa, I am Rosa Puentes. Puentes. Thank you, Miss Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going, I'm to, going, stay going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, non please. Non please. Are you going to need a shuttle service? Yes, yes, yes please. please. Uh, we change role. You are the agent and I'm Rosa. One, two, three. Mark, Mark Travel Agent. Can I help you? Can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. 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 May I have May I you to take your name, please? please? Of course. I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Mr. 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 How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need a shuttle service? Yes, please. Okay, so we're going to do right now, we are going to practice this in, um, in pairs. Okay, so we're going to one group of three and then uh, we are going to have two pairs. Okay, we're going to have Carlos and uh, um, let's say Erica. 
Then we have Flor and uh, Carla. And we have Jenny, Julia. Let me just do, let me just move on to this. Okay, so we have, we're going to start Carlos and Carla. And then we have Erica and uh, Julia. And then we're going to have Flor, Jenny, and Tatiana. Okay, let's practice the conversation. I will give you five minutes. Okay. Okay. Soy la gente, empiezo yo. Mars Travel Agency, how can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Rosa Puente. Thank you, Mr. Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the shuttle service? Yes, please. It's a shuttle. Shuttle. ¿Qué significa shuttle, teacher? Shuttle es como un refugio, solo shuttle. Shuttle. Pero el shuttle service es el servicio de transporte. Ah, ok. Ok, continue, please. I will move on to the next uh, pair. Uh, shuttle. Shuttle. Service. Shuttle. 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 Shuttle service. Yes, please. Teacher, ¿es uh, agency o cómo se pronuncia lo de agencia? Yes, agency. 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 Y la última palabra, are you going to need the... Shuttle. Shuttle service. service Shuttle yes. service. Shuttle, Shuttle service. Agency. Vaya, ahora yo soy a la gente. Sí. Vaya. Makes travel agency. Hi, can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a team. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Miss Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the shooter service? Yes, please. Ahora, otra vez, volvemos. Vaya, Tati. Ahora, ahora que pregunte, Flor. Pregunta. En, on April 14. Sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I am Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Miss Puentes. How, uh, how long are you going to stay? I am going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or no smoking room? No smoking, please. Are you going to need a shower service? Yes, please. Very good. Okay, I want to make a correction. Shuttle es el vehículo. Shelter, ahí me equivoqué, yo confundí las palabras. Shelter es el refugio. Entonces, shuttle es vehículo. Solo para aclarar, porque le dije, o sea, se me cruzó la palabra de shuttle con shelter. Que shelter es refugio. Okay, just make that, um, that correction. Okay, uh, we'll move on. Uh, we're going to move on uh, to the main room right now. Okay. Okay. 
Ok, Carla, vamos a esperar que los demás ingresen al main room. Ok, ahí vamos, ahí se van agregando. Okay, very good guys. So we're going to do right now, uh, we're going to just to um, practice the same conversation, but with a different person. Let me just to verify, yes, we are all together. Okay, so we're going to start with Carla and uh, um, you're going to practice the conversation with Jenny. Okay, Carla is the agent and Jenny is the lady. Okay. Mark Travel Agency, how can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Miss. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a, in a smoking or no smoking room? No smoking, please. Are you going to need the shuttle service? Yes, please. Okay, very good. Okay, and then we have Carlos and uh, we're going to practice with Tatiana. Carlos is the agent and uh, uh, Tatiana is Rosa. Okay. Mar Travel Agency, how can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I have it your name, please? Of course. I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Mr. Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking room, please. Are you going to need to shoot the service? Yes, please. Very good. Um, just one thing, Carlos, is Miss Puentes. Mr. Mr. is for boys, para, okay. uh, para los señores, Mr. Okay. In this case, it's a lady, it's Miss. Okay, very good. So let's go over to uh, Jenny and Erica, please. Uh, you will be the agent. Okay. And Erica will be Rosa, excuse me. Mark Travel Agency, can I help you? Good morning, I need a reservation for a single room. I going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure, may I have your name please? Of course, I Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Miss Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? No smoking, please. Are you going to need the shadow service? Yes, please. Very good. Okay, we have uh, Julia and uh, Flor. Julia will be the agent and Flor will be Rosa. Mark Travel Agency, how can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I am going to travel to Costa Rica on April 15. ¿Cómo es 14? Siempre se me olvida. 14. 14. 14. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Rosa Puente. Thank you, Miss Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I am going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking 
or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the shuttle service? Yes, please. Okay, very good job, guys. Very good job, so very good pronunciation as well. Okay, um, I went to um, go over to activity number four, just to um, share the vocabulary that we have in this part. Okay, so if you see we have accommodation. Okay, uh, Jenny, can you read what is accommodation, please? Place show as a room in the hotel where travelers can, can sleep and find other service. Very good. If you see accommodation is a place in the hotel where you can sleep. So basically when you go and reserve, make or book a, a room, right? So amenities. Carla, can you please read amenities, please? Uh, the features of the hotel that are available for guests to use, for example, a gym, a pool, a minibar, a jacuzzi, etc. Very good. So amenities basically are the facilities inside the hotel. So remember the hotel has a spa, a sauna, has gym, a pool, okay, where the people can uh, swim. Uh, mini bar, okay, so also jacuzzi, so those are the amenities. Okay, going far, do you have any question regarding this? Alguna pregunta? Antes de continuar? EG e e e e um, es la abreviación de example. Así se abrió, you can write, you can abbreviate that one as example. Okay, so I will share um, an activity. Let me just move on to this. And I will share this part. Okay, so let me get back to this. Then this is, yes. Okay, let me know if you can see the screen. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. This is an audio that we're going to go over to that. And uh, what we're going to move as this is the topic is a hotel reservation. Okay, we are going to a conversation between a man and a woman and the length or the duration of the audio is one um, minute and 14 seconds. Okay, so we're going to discuss these questions first. Oops, let me just to share again. Okay, we're going to discuss these questions. Let me just to Okay, if you see finding a cheap hotel is important to budget travelers. For a Hawaiian honeymoon, adventure travel in the mountains or business in Europe. Now, question, how do you find a budget hotel? Through an online hotel reservation, website, in a guidebook or in a phone book? Como eh, hacemos o pedimos como una tipo cotización. Expedia. Okay, Expedia. Okay. So you can call Expedia. Okay, there are some uh, uh, advertisement on the, or commercials in the TV, right? So there are eh, este famoso anuncio de, ¿cómo que se llama? Trivago. Trivago. Okay, that is also Trivago. So you can find a different uh, hotels, uh, the same hotel in different, with different prices, right? In different 
uh, situations. So what questions do you ask when you call to make a hotel reservation? ¿Qué preguntas hacen cuando quieren hacer un, una reservación de hotel? All inclu included. Como ok, all inclusive. <laughs> all <laughs> inclusive. Ok. What else? What is the cost per night? Okay, what is the cost or the rate per nine? What is the rate per, per nine? Very good. What else? ¿Qué más podrían preguntar? Si es para, por decir algo. Fecha disponible, no sé. Excuse me, Carla. Fecha disponible. Okay, the dates, um, Abilities, okay, so if you have availability for specific dates, okay, very good. What else? If it's a business hotel reservation, what is important to us? If there is a business center, right? So as I, may, as I mentioned before, business center is where you can make copies, use fax, use a computer, you don't have your own computer with you. Um, you can buy uh, sheets, papelería, so you can buy that as well. Uh, basically, it's where you can send uh, emails or fax or and uh, ask for copies. Very good. Now, vamos a los idioms. Los idioms son, esta parte de acá, son expresiones idiomáticas. Tenemos, en este caso, tenemos dos idioms, which is roll out the red carpet. When we say roll out the red carpet, is when we give a very special treatment to welcome guests. Esa es la expresión. Roll out the red carpet es cuando damos un eh, trato especial para dar la bienvenida a los eh, que se hospedan en ese hotel. Okay, we have an example. The nice thing about the hotel is that they always roll out the red carpet for the guest. Okay. So we have also another expression, 24 seven. Okay, so that means 24 hours a day and seven days of the week. So the front desk is open 24 seven in case you need assistance. So that means that they don't close at all. Están las 24 horas y los 7 días de la semana. So that means 24 seven. Okay, do you have any question? Alguna pregunta antes de ir al audio? No? Okay, so we're going to move on to the audio and we're going to answer these questions that are one, two, three, four questions, five questions that we need to answer. Eh, voy a poner el audio two times. La primera, solo escuchen. Que no piensen que, en que han dejado la olla de los frijoles en el fuego. So que el niño necesita la leche. So don't think of that. Solo si quieren cierren los ojos para poder concentrarse más y escuchar. La primera vez lo voy a poner y la segunda vez eh, antes de ponerlo vamos a leer las, las oraciones o preguntas que hay en cada ítem para que la tengamos en mente. So first time, listen. Eh, me avisan si lo escuchan, si no lo escuchan, I will just do another thing. ¿Lo escuchan? Yes, sí. Sí, ok, very good. Hello, Sunnyside Inn. May I help you? Yes, I'd like to reserve a room for two on the 21st of March. Okay, let me check our computer here for a moment. Okay. The 21st of May, right? No, March, not May. Oh, sorry. Let me see here. Hmm. Are you all booked that night? Well, we have one suite available, complete with a kitchenette and sauna bath. Okay. And the view of the city is great, too. How much is that? It's only $200 Ooh. plus a 10% room tax. Oh, that's a little too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper room available either on the 20th or the 22nd? Well, would you like a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Okay. 
We do have a few rooms available on the 20th. We're full on the 22nd, unless you want a smoking room. Well, how much is the non-smoking room on the 20th? $80 plus the 10% mm. room tax. Okay, that'll be fine. All right. Could I have your name, please? Yes. It's Bob Maxner. How do you spell your last name, Mr. Maxner? It's M-A-E-X-N-E-R. Okay, Mr. Maxner. We look forward to seeing you on March 20th. Okay, goodbye. Okay, very good. So right now we go over to the sentences or questions that are in each item. Number one, the man finally makes a reservation on March. We have three op options, March 21st, March 22nd, or March the 20th. Then uh, second question, what kind of room does the man prefer? A smoking room, a non-smoking room, either one is okay. Number three, why doesn't he want to receive the suit? It doesn't come with a sauna bath, it doesn't have a nice view, or it's too expensive. Number four, the room cost $80 plus tax, $80 plus tax, $96 plus tax. And number five, how do you spell the man's name? M-A-E-X-N-E-R, M-A-X-N-E-R, O-M-E-X-N-E-R. Okay, do you have any questions about vocabulary? Del vocabulario que está acá. Todo está bien? Is it clear? Okay. I will uh, play the audio again, and then uh, we try to answer the questions. Okay, let's do this. Hello, Sunnyside Inn. May I help you? Yes, I'd like to reserve a room for two on the 21st of March. Okay, let me check our computer here for a moment. Okay. The 21st of May, right? No, March, not May. Oh, sorry. Let me see here. Hmm. Are you all booked that night? Well, we have one suite available, complete with a kitchenette and sauna bath. Okay. And the view of the city is great, too. How much is that? It's only $200 Ooh. plus a 10% room tax. Oh, that's a little too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper room available, either on the 20th or the 22nd? Well, would you like a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Okay. We do have a few rooms available on the 20th. We're full on the 22nd, unless you want a smoking room. Well, how much is the non-smoking room on the 20th? $80 plus the 10% mm. room tax. Okay, that'll be fine. All right. Could I have your name, please? Yes, it's Bob Maxner. How do you spell your last name, Mr. Maxner? It's M-A-E-X-N-E-R. Okay, Mr. Maxner. We look forward to seeing you on March 20th. Okay, goodbye. Okay, first item. The man finally makes a reservation for March the 21st, the 22nd, or the 20th. Yes. March 20, 21st. 21st. Are you sure? Uh, at the beginning, he said 21st, okay. the, but, mm -hmm. but uh, they are not um, should, available. Okay, very good. There's no room available. Uh, room. Okay. So, so he changed the day. Okay, very good. It is, it is a room available uh, on the March the 21st. But the room is too expensive. It's two hundred dollars plus tax, so it's too expensive for him. So he decided at the end, he decided to change the date. What is the correct date? So twenty first is not the correct one, right? So what is what is the what is the date that he booked the the room? Twenty second. Are you sure? No. Or do you want to listen again? It's March 20th. Okay, let's listen one more time and uh, um, 
let's answer after the listening, let, we're going to answer the questions. Let's pay attention to this. Hello, Sunnyside Inn, may I help you? Yes, I'd like to reserve a room for two on the 21st of March. Okay, let me check our computer here for a moment. Okay. The 21st of May, right? No, March, not May. Oh, sorry. Let me see here. Hmm. Are you all booked that night? Well, we have one suite available, complete with a kitchenette and sauna bath. Okay. And the view of the city is great, too. How much is that? It's only $200 Ooh. plus a 10% room tax. Oh, that's a little too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper room available either on the 20th or the 22nd? Well, would you like a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Okay. We do have a few rooms available on the 20th. We're full on the 22nd unless you want a smoking room. Well, how much is the non-smoking room on the 20th? $80 plus the 10% mm. room tax. Okay, that'll be fine. All right. Could I have your name, please? Yes, it's Bob Maxner. How do you spell your last name, Mr. Maxner? It's M-A-E-X-N-E-R. Okay, Mr. Maxner. We look forward to seeing you on March 20th. Okay, goodbye. Okay, very good. Now, answer the first uh, item. It's on the 22nd or the 20th? 20th. 20th. Okay, very good. It's on the 20th. If you see Hotel Claire, okay, we don't have few rooms available on the 20th. We're full on the 22nd, unless you want a smoking room. The man says, well, how much is the non-smoking room on the 20th? Hotel Claire says, $80 plus 10% room tax. This, he said, that's be fine. Okay, so that's the correct answer. Now, let's move on to what kind of room does the mom prefer? A smoking room, a non-smoking room, either one is okay. A non-smoking room. A non-smoking room, very good. Okay, if you say, uh, the clear says, would you like a smoking or non-smoking room? The man says, no smoking, please. Now, next question. Why doesn't he want to reserve the suite? It doesn't come with a sound bath. It doesn't have a nice view. Oh, it's too expensive. It's too expensive. It's too expensive. Very good. Okay, so next one, the room cost. $88 plus tax, $80 plus tax, or $96 plus tax? Excuse me? $80. $80. Very good. And at the last one, how do you spell the man's name? M-A-E-X-N-E-R, number two. M A X N E R O number three M E X N E R Number one One Are you sure? No. <laughs> oh, okay, number. very good. <laughs> number one. <laughs> Okay, porque duda cuando le pregunto, are you sure? Okay, you need to, you need to assure, assure that. Okay, yes, that's the correct spelling. M-A-E-X-N-E-R. Very good, guys. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary we covered during this audio? Alguna pregunta sobre el vocabulario? Nope, everything is okay. Very good. Okay, so we're going to right now, let's move on up to the presentation that I have. I will share this one and I will share this part. Okay, so we're going to go over to that, how to book the hotel. So if you have, um, the student will ask questions. Uh, if you have, you're going to listen. We already listened the audio and answer some questions. Then you're going to work in pairs. Right now we're going to work in pairs and create a conversation where you book a hotel. Finally, present the conversation to the class. 
Pero antes de hacer la conversación, vamos a ver un vocabulario que está en la página. So in the next page on your textbook, I will share this. It's not the one that I want to share. Let me just, okay, this is. Okay, if you see to the next page, you have some vocabulary, page 30 and page 40, excuse me. We have the shuttle service. We have business center. We have the single room, the fridge in the room wake up call, we have the safe, we have a Wi-Fi internet, and we have the laundry service. If you wanna, you can include this vocabulary in your conversation, okay? So we're going to work in pairs, and then you need to create, yes, sí, dígame. ¿Qué significa? Fridge in the room. Fridge in the room es el, la refrigeradora en el, en el cuarto, donde puede usted sacar ya bebidas es, heladas, sea alcohólicas o no alcohólicas. So es es un, una mini refri, es, es chiquita. Pero se lo cobran carísimo. Sí. Cabal. <risa> 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 ok. Very good. You can use that the safe. The safe es eh, la caja fuerte o algo que se puede meter algún documento importante eh, o en caso dinero o joyas. That's the safe, la caja fuerte. Ok, pueden incluir este eh, vocabulario si ustedes gustan. Es una eh, conversación que, donde tienen que reservar un cuarto. Si ustedes se fijaron en la conversación que les puse, pregunta por el rate, si está, si hay un cuarto disponible en tal fecha, eh, cuánto cuesta y eh, si se le pide que si es un non-smoking o un smoking room, que es donde puede fumar. El smoking room es donde puede fumar y el non-smoking donde no puede fumar. Eh, pueden sustituir eso por el vocabulario que está en la página 40. En uh, eh, I will give you 15 minutes in order just to create a conversation and then you're going to present to the class. ¿Alguna pregunta antes de eh, pasar al, a hacer las parejas? No. Ok. Very good. I will share this one and I will call, I will uh, make the peers. Okay, so we have uh, Carlos is going to work with Jenny. Erica is going to work with Carla and Flor, Julia, and Tatiana, you're going to work together. Okay, so let's start with that. If you have question, I will move around the breakout rooms. If you have any question, please call me. Ahora. Hola. Hoy sí, ya le escucho. Bien. Veamos, démosle. Vamos a hacer. Teacher, ¿qué Hello. está aquí? ¿Cómo se dice? Double room sería, ¿cómo sería? Sí, el, el doble, el cuarto doble. ¿Cómo Ajá. ¿Cuarto doble? Double, double, double room. room. Single room es. Una cama. Una cama, yes. Carlos 
está listo. Ok. Hola. Bien. Hola. Eh, como que, digamos, estamos en el hotel, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, entonces vamos a decir, pongámosle un nombre, Wonderful World Hotel. ¿Can I help you? ¿Podría ser? Yes. Así uh -huh. se podría. Ok. Carlos. Creo que no íbamos a hacer la, la cuatro, no. No, vamos a hacer la, vamos a hacer una conversación como que llamamos a un hotel haciendo una reservación, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes. Utilizando uh -huh. el vocabulario. Las palabras. Así es. Ok, perfecto. Uh -huh. Entonces. Um, ¿Cómo me dice Jenny? Eh, yo le puse Wonderful World Hotel, como un maravilloso mundo, el hotel maravilloso mundo. Okay. How can I help you? Entonces usted me contesta. Good, good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Good morning. Okay. Um, I need. I need a reservation. A reservation. Uh, for a single room. For a single or puede ser double room para que cambiemos. A double room, okay. Puede ser incluir también las fechas. So you need to include the dates. Por ejemplo, okay. en la conversación estaba, I want to verify if you have an av availability for a room on, let's say, um. uh, December 13, por decir algo. Y yeah. usted le dice, voy a chequear y, ¿cómo se llama? Hay, hay un cuarto disponible a esa fecha, pero cuesta tanto, por decirle algo. Como, eh, diríamos, en ese caso sería como que, si, si lo traducimos, y ahí me va corriendo, Good morning, I need a reservation for a double room on September 27. Okay. Eh, y ahí, eh, give me one second, I check in the... Ah, good, okay. I will check the availability. The availability. Uh -huh. And you say, um, there is a room on uh, September the 27, but um, that is a nice view. It has a fridge on the room and uh, there is a sauna included. Y le pregunta a Carlos, and how much is it? Okay, you can say it's uh, 150 per night. It's too expensive, puede decir. Ah, it's too expensive. I need to, I need en, entonces puede poner otra fecha él o si hay otro cuarto más barato en esa misma fecha. So you okay. can start on that. Okay. Okay. Thank if you, you need, welcome. If you need help, please call me and I will get back. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Good afternoon. I'm going to check the day 15. We have room, how is this, app, available. Uh, available. Available. Mm -hmm. Room available. Um, se lo reserva, o sea, como... Ay, el, pero como para, para decir el precio. Uh, yo le pregunto. Ah, ok. Entonces, eh, how... Sí, ¿cuántos? No. ¿Cuánto What? vale? How, 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 how much? No, no, how much? How much? Is. Yes. Is the rate? It's, no. No. You can no. say, what is the rate? Ah, uh, what is it? How oh. much is it? Ajá, uh -huh. puedes utilizar las dos. Uh, what yeah. is the rate or how much is it? How much is it? Is it? Ya usted me da el susto. <risa> bueno, acuérdese que es triple, no me vaya a decir dos pesos. Ajá. 
Eh, uh -huh. Digo dos precios o solo uno. O solo de un solo. Eh, ah, no, puede decir, if you want a, a no smoking room, the cost is 200. And if you want a smoking room, the cost is 150, no sé, una cosa. Something like that, very good. Huh? Something like that, está bien. Uh -huh. So you got the idea. Okay. Vaya, Erika, entonces, if you, if you want, uh -huh. what day uh, you need the, you need the reservation? Así sería, teacher. Yes. What day, what day do you need the, the res Yes, the reservation. Okay. What day do you, what day do you need to reservation? Sí. What day do you need? Do you? Yes. Do you need the reservation? Yes. Do reservation or the reservation? A reservation. No me escuché. Es el artículo la, la reservación. So, the reservation. Sí. Mm -hmm. Entonces ahí le podemos poner for, eh, for August eh, 30 en for August 13 and 31. 31st. 31st, ah. Mm -hmm. ¿Para cuándo me dice? Para agosto 30 y 31. Preguntamos para cuántas personas, si la quiere doble o, que, o quiere una habitación simple. Ah, ahí, bueno, ahí yo creo que me, ya podríamos incluir este, de los vocabularios que están aquí, los dibujitos. Yes. Uh, puede incluir lo que estaba diciendo Flor. Uh, you, do you need a single or double room? Podría... El single room es de una cama, right? Uh -huh. so el double room es de dos camas. So you need a single room or double room. So you can, you can ask for that. Y en este caso se podría, se podría responder, I am new. I am need, no, tempo. I need, so, el, need, sin el am. El am, I no, need, I, I need. I am, I am, yo soy, ¿verdad? Sí, o yo estoy. I need. Yo, I need. Ah, uh, pero tenemos que utilizar las palabras que estaban ahí en el. Sí. Quiero ver las palabras. Sí, no, no las. No, pero es ahí. No, no es necesario utilizarlas todas. Pueden ah. seleccionar unas cuantas. So, it's, okay. it's more just Entonces to... podemos, por, ahí la podemos incluir, Flor. Podemos poner, I need a single room. Um, I need laundry service. Sí. I need single room. Mm -hmm. Y luego. I need laundry service and Wi-Fi internet. I need... Sí. Yes. I need single room and Wi-Fi service. Wi-Fi service. Yes. Wi -fi. Así dijeron. Wi-Fi wi internet. Wi-Fi internet. Wi-Fi internet. You have said the same thing. You have. The Celia. 
we have a room, a building, on ah. in the second floor, mm. overlooking the pool. Overlooking the pool. Eh, sería así, we have a room available in the second floor, overlooking the pool. Okay. Entonces yo le contestaría. Ah, okay. o, o, o curvas. No, todavía no sabe si es caro o barato. Ah, ah entonces, ah, ya, yeah, yeah. <risa> no, eh, Entonces le tengo que preguntar, me parece, ¿y cuál es el precio? Uh -huh. Sería. You can, you can ask, what is the rate? What? Is the rate, pueden ser dos preguntas. The rate, ¿cómo sería? ¿Cómo se escribe rate? R I D E. No. R A A T E. T E. T E. T. T as in Tom. Rate. What is the rate? ¿Qué significa esto, Ticho? ¿Cuál es el en ese en ese caso quiere decir el precio? Así es. Puede pronunciar rate. Ajá. Puede preguntar, what is the rate? O puede preguntar, how much is it? Que es la pregunta más común. How much is how it? How much it is. Is it? Yes. Puede ser cualquiera de las dos. Ok. ¿Cuál le parece, Carlos? A su disposición, ¿cuál es la Me dos? perdí. Me perdí en eso último. Puede ser de dos maneras. What is the rate? Que es cuál sería el precio? O la más común que es how much is it? ¿Cuál de las dos quiere utilizar? What, 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 ¿Cuál sería el precio? What will the price? No, the price no. No, no. escuche las dos que le estoy diciendo. Uh -huh. eh, eh, what is the rate? Que significa cuál es el precio? Así se diría. Pero lo que la gente comúnmente dice es how much is it? Cualquier, cualquier, ajá, cua, no, es lo mismo. ¿Cuánto cuesta? Como quien dice en español. Pero mm -hmm. tenemos que usar una de las dos. Mm -hmm. ¿Usamos how much is it? Eso, mejor how much. How much? Is it? How much is it? How much it, is it? Is two hundred dollars. How much? How much? For life, right, teacher? Is it per night? For day or for night? Per night. Puede decir per, P-E-R, per night. Ah, Per night. Okay. Y diga usted, it's too expensive. Yeah. <laughs> it's too expensive. It's, it is Ahí very podemos, expensive. It, uh -huh. It's too expensive. Podría ser, ¿cómo puedo? O oh, puedo decirle yo, but, pero puedo por esa, pero diferente fecha, como digamos. Puedo darle ese mismo cuarto, pero diferente fecha. Hay un precio más cómodo. You can book the same I room can. in a different date. I can, I can, teacher. I can, I can book the same book. room. Mm -hmm. But different uh, date. Y le da el precio de esa fecha. De for eighty dollar. Mm -hmm. Very good. Plus tax. Plus tax. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Continue. I will move on to another pair. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ay, empiezo. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. I need a reservation for a triple room on September fifteenth. Good afternoon. I going to check the day 15. We have a room at Ponce Pronuncia available. Available. Uh, what much is it? 
is your one is your one a known smoking room because at two hundred but is your a one a smoking room because a one hundred fifteen is if you want a no smoking room, the cost is, your, is, the, uh, is if if is one hundred fifteen. Fifteen, fifteen or fifty. Fifteen. Fifteen. No, because he said fifteen is fifteen. Is one hundred fifty. Fifty. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay, fifty. Mm -hmm. okay, 50. Mm -hmm. I want a noise smoking room. Okay, how long you going to stay? How long are you going to stay? How long are you going uh -huh. to stay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to stay one night. Eh, I see I need single room I I Wi-Fi internet así fue uh -huh. eso es lo que sí. dijo sí Wi-Fi internet and laundry service ah eso es la que no tengo Okay, you have three more minutes. Three more minutes. Okay. Bye, practiquemos otra vez. Bye. Hello. Thank you for calling the Intercontinental Hotel. How can I help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course, uh, I'm Tatiana Flores. Thank you, Miss Flores. What day do you need the reservation? From August 30 and 31st. Do you need a single room or a double room? I need a single room and Wi-Fi internet and laundry service. Do you need the fridge, fridge in the room? No, thank you. The laundry cells. Cells. Eh? Eh? Shadow service. Shadow. Shadow. ¿Qué es un shadow? Shadow. Ray es el que le va a llevar del... Ajá. Del... Ah, shadow, shadow, ajá. Shadow service. El transporte. Yes. Entonces yo le voy a decir. ¿Cómo le va? Sure, como, claro, está incluido. ¿Cómo le puedo decir? Sure, is it, is, it is include, include. Sure. Sure. It, it is, is include. include. Yes. Ok. What's your name? No le he preguntado todavía. Uh, no, de qué. What your name? Me lo sí, estaba esperando que me lo preguntara. Carlos. 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 ¿Qué? Contreras. Contreras. Ok, Mr. Carlos. Carlos. Eh, ¿Su reservación está finalizada? ¿Sería? Uh, your reservation is completed. Your reservation is completed. Vamos a ver cómo nos queda. Vamos a ver. Ok, si gusta, la, la decimos, Carlos, para tener una idea de qué es lo que estamos hablando. Sí, porque va. Bye. Wonderful World Hotel, can I help you? Uh, good morning. I need a reservation for a double room. 
I am going to travel to El Salvador on September 15. Sure. At this moment, I see if we have available rooms. We have a um, we have a room a available room on the second floor, overlooking the pool. Hey, uh, hey, how much is this? How much is it? Mm -hmm. It's two hundred dollar per night. It's too expensive. I can book the same room but different day for eighty dollar plus tax. What? What days hold the price? September twenty seven. I need a laundry service. Yes. Aquí, aquí sería aquí. Si lo quiero, como decía, si lo tomo, si lo quiero. I want to book it. I, I want to book that room. Want to book that room. The room. Okay, aquí vamos. Room. Okay. Ajá, y de ahí viene lo que usted necesita, Carlos. I need that laundry service and and shower service. Sure, it is included. What's your name? It's Carlos Contreras. Um, and the uh, phone number? <laughs> ya le están metiendo más. <laughs> es que no. <laughs> es que no termina. <laughs> Usted diga un número para que practiquemos los números también. <laughs> <laughs> es, 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 it's seven nine. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm going to write it down. Seven nine, eight nine, nine 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 two. Okay, Mr. Carlos. Your <laughs> reservation is complete. Thank you. Completed. It's completed. 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 Very good. He, uh, Jenny is available. I, I uh, am they, Available. Available. Uh, very good. Available. Available. Okay, very good. So we are going to move on to the main room right now because that is 951. Okay. Welcome. I'm sorry, always I, I, I forget that I am mute cuando regresamos de al main room. Okay, uh, we're going to continue with that. We're going to move on to role play the conversation. Okay, so first of all, we have, let me just check. Okay, we're going to start with Carlo and Jenny. Okay, Carlo and Jenny, Carlos and Jenny, please role play the conversation that you prepare. Carlos, okay. wonderful world hotel, can I help you? Uh, good morning, I need a reservation for a double room. I am going to travel to El Salvador on September 15. Sure, at this moment I see if we have available room. Available room. We have a available room on the second floor overlooking the pool. How much is it? It's 20, it's $200 per night. It's too expensive. I can book the same room but different day for $80 plus tax. What, what they call the price? September 27, I want to book the room. September 26, perdón, 27, perdón. 27. <laughs> I want to book the room 
I need you I need that laundry service and a children's service. Sure. It is included. What's your name? Uh, my name is Carlos Contreras. And phone number? Um, seven nine eight nine 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 two. Okay, Mr. Carlos, your reservation is complete. Thank you very much. Okay, very good. An applause for them, please. <laughs> okay, very good job, Carlos and Jenny. Okay, now we're going to move on with Erica and Carla, please. Good afternoon. I need a reservation for triple room on September 15. Good afternoon. I'm going to check. The day 15, we have a room at I believe. How much is it? Is your one a non smoking room because it's two at 200? But is our your one a smoking room because it's a 150? I want a noise smoking room. Okay. How long are you, how how long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay one night. Perfect. May, may I have your name? Carla Melendez. Are you going to, to need a full service? No, I only need wake up call and fridge in the room. Do you have Wi-Fi internet? Yes, we have a Wi-Fi and business center. Do you need another service? No, thank I did it a reservation for September 15th. Okay. Okay, very good. Applause for them, please. Very good job. Um, just one thing, Erica, is available. Avei available. Available. Very good. And that is available. Okay, let's move on, on to the last group. Floor, Julia, and Tatiana, please. Okay. Uh, hello. Thank you for calling the Intercontinental Hotel. How can I help you? Hello. I need to make a reservation. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Tatiana Flores. Thank you, Miss Flores. What day do you What day do you need the reservation? From August 30 and 31st. Do you need a single room or double room? I need a single room and Wi-Fi internet and laundry service. Do you need the fridges in the room? No, thank you. Yeah. Okay, very good. <laughs> Applause for the <laughs> Very good. Okay, um, just remember this, fridge, fridge. Fridge, fridge. 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 Fridge in the room. Very good job. Okay, I heard um, your conversation and um, your pronunciation is very good, guys. Se acoplaron bastante a lo que pedí que utilizaran el vocabulario igual el vocabulario que escucharon en la conversación. Very good job. Okay, let me. Voy a pasar lista antes que se me olvide porque no pasé eh, a las nueve. Se me fue la, ahí la piscucha, pero vamos a pasar lista ahorita. Ok, tenemos Eduardo Antonio Ángel Martínez, Jenny Quesada Fernández de Campos, eh, Kenny Alexandra Montenegro Galdames, Sergio Alberto Sosa Santos, Mónica Guadalupe Martínez Munguía, José Ernesto Rivera Deras, Wendy Joana Estrada Escobar, Andrés Oswaldo Ramos Cepeda, Eduardo Alfredo Pérez Rugamas, Tatiana, Tatiana Flores, 
Ok. Eh, Carla Evelyn Meléndez Guzmán. Present. Very good, thank you. Erika Paulina Rivera Janes. Present. Thank you very much. Maritza Elizabeth Chicas Villalta. María Lourdes Amaya Herrera. Flor Morena Rodríguez de Morales. Present. Thank you very much. Carlos Emilio Contreras Romero. Present. Thank you very much. Dora Ayala de López, Emma Carolina Araniva Sarabia, Daniel Edgardo Álvarez Hernández y Julia Carolina Monge Rodríguez. Present. Thank you very much. Ok, yo so I will keep, uh, le voy a quitar tres minutos más y vamos a pasar a this part. Ok, let me just to share this. Okay, basically what we saw is this, why we already um, discussed the role play that activity that we had. But before finish, I need that you complete, or we complete all together this part. Okay, we go to the vocabulary. Okay, so what is number one? We have shuttle service, business center, single room, fridge in the room, wake up call, safe, Wi-Fi, internet, and laundry service. So what do we have in number one? What is number one? What do you think is number one? Seven, teacher. Excuse me? Seven, number seven. Number seven? Oh, no, 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 yo me, sí, sí, seven. What is number seven? The shuttle service. Very good, the shuttle service. Okay, what about number one? El número uno. Is wake up card. Very good, the wake up call. What about number two? Laundry service. Laundry service, very good. Number three. Fridge in the room. A fridge, a oh, fridge in the room. Very good. Number four. Yeah, okay. and business center. Very good. The business center. Number five. Safe. Safe. Very good. Number six. Okay, single room, number seven, we already did that, is shuttle service, and number eight. Wi-Fi internet. Wi-Fi internet, very good. Okay, so let's move on, and I will share the last activity. So as, as always, we do a uh, warm up, right? So we're going to uh, work together. So what did you learn in today's class? ¿Qué es lo que aprendimos en la clase de ahora? Reservation in to hotel. Okay, uh, make up a reservation or book a hotel room. Very good. Also, uh, what else we learned today? ¿O qué vocabulario aprendimos ahora? Available. Available. Very good. De los que se acuerdan. Shuttle service. Shuttle service. Ok. En la conversación, en, en, en la parte de listening, ¿qué vocabulario se acuerdan? Remember, el non-smoking, smoking room. Non-smoking room is a smoking room, right? Also, we learn rate. La palabra rate, que quiere decir cuál es el precio, right? What is the rate? Or the room rate, que cuál es el precio del cuarto. Very good. Do you have any question, guys? Alguna pregunta? 
alguna pregunta, alguna queja, alguna sugerencia? No. Ok, solo acordarles de nuevo, por favor trabajen en las tareas de cada clase. Eh, hay personas que no han hecho todavía las actividades número 3. Eh, ya casi terminamos el módulo, chicos, y ¿cómo se llama? Tengo que entregar notas eh, semanalmente. Porque he estado entregando nada más las que tengo en la plataforma. Si necesitan de nuevo, si necesitan ayuda, please let me know y con todo gusto yo les puedo ayudar. Ok, if there's no question, guys, si no hay alguna pregunta, alguna queja o alguna sugerencia, see you tomorrow and have a nice night. Ok, take care, bye bye. Good night. Good night.